Hi, this is Jarek from Re3D. In this section, we'll demonstrate some final adjustments to the upper and lower end stops on your newly modified Gigabot. On both the left and right adjustment knobs at the front of the bed assembly, there are M5 by 70 mm hex head screws that contact the limit switches and make the bed stop moving. Before making any adjustments to these screws, use a permanent marker and mark a spot on the head of the screw as a point of reference. Do this for both screws. On the right side leveling knob, which corresponds to the upper Z-limit switch, use an 8mm wrench to turn the screw clockwise when viewed from above. Turn the screw 4 full revolutions. The mark you made earlier will be very useful in keeping track of how many turns you've made. When you home the Z-axis again, the bed will home one eighth of an inch closer to the nozzles. This will place them close enough together so that you can level the bed to the nozzles using the four bed leveling knobs. Next, move the bed 600 millimeters so that it goes all the way down to the end of its travel. You'll notice that there's still a gap between the Z-axis motors and the cutout in the bedside plates. This is intentional. Finally, repeat the same process on this M5 by 70 hex head screw, including making a reference point on the screw head. This time, turn the screw clockwise all the way until the shaft of the screw engages the limit switch. And that's it! You've adjusted the end stops and are ready to move on.